Hello, welcome to my channel. Every greeting card I have ever received lives in a box under my bed. The truth is, when times are tough, a card with a cat holding on to a branch for dear life that says hang in there can actually make me feel better. And these days, the sentiments inspired by greeting cards whether for birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, or just to say hello, are even more appreciated as many of us still are or feel disconnected from one another due to the pandemic, like many people. I saw our socially distant times as an opportunity to connect with loved ones this old-fashioned way, with a physical card and a pen. But the more I looked for greeting cards, the harder it became to find the right ones. The best greeting cards speak to a recipient's identity and personality. But I couldn't find a lot that are inclusive to all ethnicities, cultures or people with disabilities. As someone who has never shied away from an art, arts and crafts project, I studied and worked in a visual arts. I figured I could learn to make my own greeting cards the way other folks are learning to make candles or ceramics or pressed flowers or needlepoint. I'm not talking about those clip art cards your grandma used to make for every birthday either you can see some I have made in my video. But what I didn't know were the best tools for the job. Between paper and printers and other gadgets, there are countless supplies you can use to make cards and things to decorate them with. With very little information about what stuff works well together, the only way to find out a reason try as much of it as possible. And that I did diving deep into the different types of paper, printers and cutting machines I could use to make professional looking greeting cards at home. Learning how to make homemade greeting cards look professional will help you take your handmade greeting cards to a new level. Making your own greeting cards is a fun crafting skill. Whether you make them for yourself or you are selling or planning to sell them, it never hurts to have a few tips to step up your card making game. I have made this video all about basic, gre basic greeting card supplies and tools which covers everything that you need to get started making your own greeting cards. Once you have acquired a set of basic supplies and tools and feel comfortable with simple card making skills, this video is for you. You will be able to take your home made greeting cards to a whole new level, buying friends and family and bringing in more customers than ever. All of the tips tricks and ideas sharing here are surprisingly simple with one exception the products i recommend to improve your cards are very affordable you can see in this video there are a lot of ideas about greeting cards so first of all always cut straight edges with a paper cutter a paper cutter is a must for greeting cards even with a steady hand and good scissors, it is impossible to make the perfectly straight cuts that you want for greeting cards. A paper cutter makes the job quick and easy. So always use a paper cutter on a flat surface with a self healing cutting mat underneath it. Use double sided tape for large pieces and wrinkle free paper glue for small pieces. Layer multiple papers and use high quality stamps and ink pads 
for making greeting cards add multiple colors to a single stamp and one more thing to remember add dimensional elements with foam scares foam mounting scares allow you to add dimensional elements to greeting cards in seconds dimensional elements add visual interest and allow you to draw attention to certain components one more thing is add non paper details non paper details add more visual interest to greeting cards i hope you enjoyed these amazing greeting card ideas for more diy ideas please keep visiting the channel thank you